Hello, good morning. Happy Wednesday, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Looks like we are coming on live. Happy Wednesday. Okay, so my name is Jennifer Luddington. For those of you who do not know me, um, I am a mindset generator. <laughs> so I help you uh, really develop and generate a healthy mindset so that you can really live a value-centered, aligned life. And I do that by helping you generate your health, helping you generate good mindset habits, helping you generate strength in all areas of your life. And today I want to talk to you and kind of follow up with you about what we talked about on Monday, which was a lot of value-centered um, you know, discernment. And today we're going to really talk into this topic of you know, how to really hit the bullseye in your life by really focusing on your intrinsic values. Right, And so I have a few principles I want to share with you today, and I'm going to share those principles with you so that you can really start setting yourself up for success so that you can hit the bullseye in your life and, and all fronts, right? Not just health, not just mindset, not just family relationships, but all, all areas of your life. So when I talk about hitting the bullseye, I have this really unique uh, toolkit that I use with a lot of my clients. I'm going to actually give you today. Uh, for free. So I'm going to pop that link. It's on Facebook now. So you guys can always go there and check out this, this PDF. If you want to grab it now and follow along with me, that's awesome too. And on Instagram, I'll pop it here. Don't worry. Um, you can come back to the live and grab that link. So, so what I really want to do is it's, I've actually created a PDF that has a bullseye on it, right? And when I teach values, what I really do teach is I teach that values kind of come together in four different quadrants of our life, right? And the four different quadrants that I really focus on when I teach this, and you guys, look, I get it, right? Like, sometimes I'm really super hyper-focused on one area, and then I forget about the others, right? It's really easy to do that. And so this is the actual thing that had to flip in my life. I had to flip this switch because what happened is I was so hyper-focused in one area and I was so hyper-focused there that I couldn't see the rest of my life, right? And when I got so hyper-focused in that area, this, this tool really helped me flip the switch so that I could create more balance, more alignment, more contentment, more happiness, and more joy in my life. Because when we're just hyper-focused in one area, we really lose the essence of what life is about, right? Of what life really is about. It's creating that balance and that equality in all areas, in all areas of our life. And so right now I know a lot of you out there are really super maybe focused on one area of your life because there's maybe fear. Um, there's maybe the need or pressure or external pressure to like achieve and keep going. And I know that there's this big thing out there right now. It's like hustle hard and do all these things. But really, if you're not defining your success for yourself, and you haven't really looked at your own intrinsic values, right? Really, you're gonna lead yourself down a path of discontent, right? Unfulfillment, um, overwhelm, right? Feeling like you're lost, right? And that's what I don't want for you. I want you to feel that joy, that spark, that happiness. And the way that you do that, there's three different ways that you do that. The first one is we really start with what our values are instead of starting with what the goal is, right? So that's number one. Number two is we release this herd mentality. And when I say herd mentality, what I mean is the goals that we usually set are usually externally motivated, right? Because we think that if everyone else is doing it this way, I should too. And getting out of that herd mentality is hard because the external pressure is, is constant. Right, we should be achieving and going and buying and getting and keeping up with the Joneses all the time, and it's exhausting, right? So the first step is, of course, aligning with your values, not your goals, and then working backwards, and I'll teach you that in just a second. The second thing that I wanna share with you is really like getting out of the herd mentality and letting go of that external herd, what we should be doing, right? And then it's creating a centered schedule. And these are all things that I do in my programs with my groups, but I'm going to start to teach you some of those right now, which I think is kind of cool. I'm actually going to give you that toolkit piece that you can use to really kind of figure out where your values are. So um, downloading that PDF, it's just a bullseye, right? And in each quadrant is the four quadrants of your life that really you need to look into your values. So the first quadrant I always start with is health, right? Health is up here. And then we have career and we have relationships 
And then we have leisure, which is also like personal development and your happiness, right? What you do for yourself that really fuels you and makes you feel good. And then we start to, to micro it down and you take those four quadrants and you think about what really matters to me in those quadrants, right? What really matters to me with my health? What do I really value in my health? And for me, health means freedom, right? That's my value in there is that it, it's, it creates freedom for me in my health quadrant. And in, in my relationship quadrant, what I completely value is connection. Right? I've got to feel connected all the time to those relationships that matter to me. Those are my values, right? Um, and then in other areas, you know, it's going to be different. And so I start to really brainstorm in each of those quadrants, the things, the things that I really want, the things that I really value, the things that really light me up. And I look at those quadrants and in this toolkit, you can, you can follow this along. It's a free downloadable PDF. It'll actually take you through the steps that I work into how to actually finding the values and the questions that you need to ask yourself to dive deep to find out intrinsically what matters to you in each of those quadrants of your life. Okay? And then once you really start to see a theme, because what will happen is in each of those quadrants, hi Megan, hi Nancy, in each of those quadrants, you'll start to see some congruency. You'll start to see some of those values take shape. You'll start to see a theme. And you'll start to pull out, because a lot of people don't take the time to know what their values are. Right? We just, we're told what they should be, so we embody them. Instead of it being like really feeling from our soul and our heart and what matters to us, we're led by the external, which leads to unhappiness and discontent and overwhelm. So when we start with the values and, and we break them down and micro them down, we can really start to see the theme of what really matters to us in our life. And then through that bullseye worksheet that I've popped here for that, that free download, what's also interesting is that I take you through another step to see where you're actually needing to put more attention and what quadrant of your life needs more of your attention. It's almost like um, this way of, of really evaluating yourself and where you are in your life so that you can start to take the steps and actions right, that will lead you into the next behavior that's going to best serve your values, not the goal. So let me break this down for you. When I talk about the first principle here, which is, you know, creating your life based on your values, not your goals, I think people really get this wrong because they always start with a goal. And that's what I used to do, right? It was like, oh, everyone's doing this. Everyone in the fitness industry gets on stage and competes. So that's what I'll do too. So then I set my goal there and then I put all my energy and hyper focus in that one thing. When really at the end of the day, if I looked at my values, those actions to get me to that goal don't align with my values. You guys ever done that? It's like, what am I doing? Like, here you are. You're like trying to reach this goal. And meanwhile, you're miserable trying to reach it. Has that ever happened to you? I mean, come on, right? So when we do that, we set ourselves up for unhappiness and frustration and discontent. And I hear that from women a lot. And when I shifted, and when I went into this place where this toolkit that I'm sharing with you, where I went from here and when I started to align with my values first, and then I set my goals that are aligned with my values, my life got so much better, easier. And I felt more authentic. I felt more calm and more peace. I let go of a lot of things that weren't serving me, right? Because I knew that I was living into my values by the actions that were getting me to the goals that were, and were incongruent with my values. And I had to take time to find out what that was. Right? Okay. The other thing that we have to let go of here is when you're really trying to get into these intrinsic values and discover what they are, which is the topic today, we have to let go of the herd mentality. So this is the, the step number two is herd mentality is scary, right? Especially in our culture right now and what's happening in our society. There's a lot of herd mentality happening. There's a lot of people tuning out because it's too painful to look at. And instead of just, they're just going with the masses and that's dangerous. It's not only dangerous for society, but it's dangerous for you and your happiness and your health um, and, and your life vision, right? So, so have you guys ever heard that story where it's like the buffalo, the buffalo effect? Have you guys ever heard that term? Okay, well, the buffalo effect is <laughs> where they, the, they used to run, you know, back, you know, er, earlier in our country's history, which is horrifying, but they used to run the buffalo off. Um, the settlers would run the buffalo off cliffs uh, in order to starve the Native Americans, right? Horrible. But what would they would do is they would do this because buffalo had a herd mentality. Whereas the buffalo, even though they saw the cliff coming, 
right? Even though they saw the cliff there, they kept going no matter what because they were following the herd. So they were jumping off of a cliff into their death, even though, even though they knew it was coming because they were following the herd. And that's exactly what we do in our society when we look externally for what we should be creating in our life and the vision that we want. Right, we're setting ourselves up for failure and sometimes jumping off a cliff like I did, where it ruined my health and it made me miserable and took me down a dark, deep, nasty path of negativity and depression and anxiety when I followed the herd. That wasn't my value system. I was trying to do what everyone else did, seeking approval because I thought it was the right thing or the easier way. I don't, I don't exactly know why I did it, but it probably was because of the herd mentality. So have you guys ever found that? where you're following the masses instead of really thinking about what's intrinsic and matters to you. It's not easy to do. It takes time and effort, but this little toolkit will help you get there faster. Okay. So, so that's step number two is really, you know, the first thing is of course, aligning your values and creating habits and actions that align with your values, not your goal. Right. And then the goal will come from your values. It's different backwards thinking. I know it's not what people like to hear or have been hearing, but that's what we do, right? You start, with the value, the values where you live, and then the goals created after the fact, okay? So the next thing I wanna to talk to you guys is about, you know, really, it's after you create this value-centered life and these values that you adopt and you, you know, uncover, then you really have to start stepping back and saying, okay, what are the habits and behaviors that will get me closer to my values, not closer to my goal, right? Does that make sense? So, so that's really what I wanna share with you guys today is, Basically, you've really got to understand and go deep enough to understand what your intrinsic values are, and that's why I gave you this PDF that you can download. Um, thanks, Megan. This is great stuff, isn't it? It's fun to talk about. So in order to really live aligned and really hit the bullseye of your life, what you really need to start with is the number one thing is getting aligned and connected to your intrinsic values. Okay, so what you'll do is you'll download this toolkit. You can go, it's a freebie, it's just an instant download. You can go ahead and download it and do this. Later, I would love to hear your thoughts and share with me. If you have questions on this, please put your comments down and I will answer questions. Um, but then also, I just wanna let you guys know that when you do download this freebie, you can always share it with me in my free Facebook group as well, right? You can share it with me, we can get more connected that way. I can walk you through it if you have questions. But if you're feeling disconnected, if you're feeling discontent, if you're feeling frustrated and overwhelmed with what's going on in our society right now, you know, really try to start to tune in. And the way that you start is to really start with your values. So. Um, this thing that I talk about value endurance I talked about on Monday leads you to this next step, which is the action step from value endurance, okay? I will be talking more about how to create a value system schedule, which is also what I talk about in my free, in my free Facebook group. I also do my programs based on values um, to really find what your vision is because I do believe that values are the vision. Um, values are the vehicle to your vision in your life, right? So, all right, you guys, that was what tipped over um, the thing for me, was really getting connected to values instead of goals. So I hope you guys take some time to do that today. Um, if you have questions, let me know again. But again, um, the free download is in the link here on Facebook. I'll pop it here on Instagram right now in just a few minutes. And then if this was meaningful for you guys, if you felt connected to this, if you were like, wow, I really need to start thinking about this more and more, please share this live, right? It's important, it's, it's important to be generous. Um, it's the way that I know it's landing with you and it's connected with you and then I should just keep going. <laughs> um, so I'd love to hear your feedback on the download. Um, if you guys like these follow alongs with me that I've, I'm gonna start doing more of, I can. I think it's really important to have something tangible. Sometimes people learn more um, kinetically and I think that's important to honor. Um, so thank you for being here. Thank you for honoring me with your time and um, I appreciate you all and have a beautiful, beautiful day.